So sometime in 2011, an interesting company called Quixel created Megascan. And prior to this, Quixel did create a couple of interesting tools that rivals various substance 3D tools known as Ddo, Ndo, and also Tridu. They were pretty interesting and super useful for texturing 3D objects inside of Photoshop as this was a plugin at the time. And later on, this was more fleshed out and developed as Quixel Mixer, which is an interesting alternative tool to Substance Painter and Substance Sampler. And fast forward to 2011, they did release Megascan and this was developed to bring the highest quality of 3D scan data to artists as Megascan was and is a collection of high quality 3D scanned data of real world objects and currently it holds a record as the world's largest 3D scanned asset library available to artists and this has been used by lots of game developers, filmmakers and visualization specialists. And sometime in November 12th of 2019, Epic Games acquired Quixel. And when they did, just like most of the things that Epic Games have acquired, Megascan was made free. And not just free, it was super available for all Unreal Engine artists. And later, when Twinmotion was integrated into Epic Games ecosystem, this was also free for Twinmotion users as well. And at the time, this was the envy of most 3D creators. And it's pretty interesting to see that with the release of Fab, which is Epic Games' brand new marketplace that unifies all Epic Games asset marketplace, Megascan and all the thousands of assets that they have is now free for everyone as all mega scans are now free for everyone under the fab standard license and this is going to remain free for everyone until the end of 2024 so if you like to get them you can claim and download them and keep them forever however once 2025 rolls in there's gonna be a service charge to this and this is just to help develop mega scan more and bring more scans and assets to this ever-growing incredible library and how you get this is pretty easy if you simply go over to fab.com you can click on claim now and you'll be required to sign Sign in. And once you sign in, you'll be prompted to claim your free Megascan. And once you click on that, you can now go to your Quixel library where you'll be able to find every single Megascan that have ever been made available for you. And this by far is one of those amazing things that has happened to creators of late. And what you'll be getting from here consists of 3D models, materials and textures, atlases, brushes, decals, and environment. Now every other tag which includes like 2D stuff all the way to tools and plugins, these are not available. And how you download any of this is very simple. All you need to do is select any of the files that you want and you can choose to add them to your library or you can proceed to hit the download button. Now in several cases you would have various kind of downloading options. In a case like the warehouse environment we can choose to download the raw data which is about 18 gig. Then we can select the high, medium, or low resolution zip file and download it. So for environments like this, if you want to download them, it is pretty easy. So once you hit the download button and you download them, what you'll be getting are tons of folders that contains individualized assets and also textures that are related to the assets that exist within those folders. So you can open up any of them, preview their FBX, and also see what the textures look like in case you like to start forming a scene with it. And this is one cool way to get started. However, not all objects are exactly like that. There are also some interesting objects that you would actually find high resolution data files with. So one of them includes things like the red grip. So if we open up the red grip, you would notice that within the download section, we have the ZBrush file, we have the FBX file, we also have the GLB file, we have the GLTF file, the USD file, the Unreal Engine file, and a couple of other files as well that we can work with. And something else which is pretty interesting is to most of the models that have made their transition, you also have access to the Sketchfab viewer. So with that, you can preview this model, see what and what, you know, the textures look like, what your wireframe looks like. And this is a welcome development. However, there's a tiny update that I think Unreal Engine users needs to know. So unlike when we work with a typical marketplace, what you could do is you can find something of that marketplace, save it up the marketplace, put it in your library, and then when you come over to the Epic Launcher, you can simply refresh the launcher or search for that stuff and automatically it's gonna be there and you can add that to your project and start working. That doesn't seem to be the case. Unreal Engine assets are being promised to exist within the Fab library and there is a sync button that should actually get you going. However, that situation is not what we get at this point as once we refresh this, it doesn't matter how much things we put in our library, those things do not update here. And that is one thing to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is if you work with Unreal Engine, you probably would like to work with the Quixel Bridge. So if you simply open up Unreal Engine, you can go over to Window, go all the way down to where you've got your Quixel Bridge. And by default, what we get is this prompt. So it says stay here or you can visit Fab. So if you choose to stay here, the only things you have access to are the things you have access to on your machine. If you go over to collection and maybe you're looking for something. So for example, if we go over to collection and we'd like to get something of this collection, 
maybe the medieval banquet will want to find something. Maybe let's let's take a look at the apple. So if we like to get this apple, we have to go to fab to get it. So you no longer have that option of getting this here. Possibly there's going to be an update to this. Who knows? But for what is what for you to get this now, you literally have to get it on fab and then it opens up fab from here. You will be able to download them, you know, FBX, all that files, you'll be able to download them. And if you choose to add this to your library again, it doesn't show up on the launcher. Neither does it show up as part of the things that you've purchased previously. And I think this might just be a downside to this entire thing, because, you know, in most cases, new tools into existing ecosystems can potentially be problematic. And for the quick sell bridge, this no longer has an advantage for the primary users, which are basically Unreal Engine users, as they now have to download stuff directly off fab and bring that in Unreal Engine. Hopefully there's going to be a fix for this, but for what it's worth, you can go ahead, download this and start using it. And speaking about things that you can download, there's just a ton of things that you can get now. If you simply go over to fab, go all the way down, you would notice right here, we've got free content. Now this is a mixture of free stuff that creators have put here alongside free stuff that exists with Unreal Engine Marketplace. So if you go over to the free content, you'll be able to find lots of free content. So maybe you would like to get the soldier's head. Of course you can. You can get this as a blender file and you can get this as an FBX. And these are really cool stuff. So if you'd like to get any of these ones, you can. You can simply just scan through, find stuff that you want, things that are super useful for you, and you can proceed to download them. And these are pretty, you know, there's just a lot of things. Just go ahead, check this out, knock yourself out, grab as much as you can for this stuff. And you can use the tags to actually streamline exactly what you're looking for. And while we talk about things that you can get, there's also one cool thing that is now available now for people to get. This is set to be free, but I don't really, you know, I wouldn't necessarily consider it as free. And this is the free Substance 3D tools. Okay, so let's say it's free. It's free if you choose to publish something. So if you're thinking about publishing the product, then you'll be able to get Substance Painter and also Substance Modeler for free. However, if you want to get this and you don't want to spend too much money getting this, then all you need to do is, you know, buy something that is above $25 on this page and be able to get Substance 3D Painter and also Substance Modeler. So to any of these two options you choose, you'll be able to get a code that you can use to unlock Substance Painter and also Modeler for six months. And this is running from now till May 31st of 2025. So you do have from now till that time to get it. And for those who would like to explore all of this, then you can simply go over to the link in the description. It's going to bring you right here. Then you can come over to this section and grab these things for yourself. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Mega scan assets and also tons of stuff are now available for you to go ahead and get. I'll kind of consider calling this 100k plus free stuff. And you can get all of them right now on fab. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'ma do my thing. I did not come to play. I ain't got no limit. Get yeah, us right. Yeah, I'm limitless. I ain't got no limit. Get yeah, us right. Yeah, I'm limitless.